Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, um, loans that uh, a, a borrower takes out <laughs> that are non-recourse, when banks try to make it a recourse loan, yes, <laughs> Uh, there's certain, well, there's some litigation involved in that, and I thought that somebody had intentionally done some things, Chicago title. <laughs> now, I know you've been trying to get me, okay? <laughs> get me put in jail or a mental institution, <laughs> but this concept of true and correct, and you tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, yes. <laughs> Why don't you get me those that lost their homes to foreclosure for the last, oh, <laughs> Oh, 10 years, because the credit crisis really started in 2008, yes. <laughs> and then get me those that purchased the residences, Pooley! at auction. <laughs> now, I'm going to need to know of every lender in every non-recourse state where the bank said, well, you actually owe us for the second, <laughs> having worked in, uh, in, uh, uh, mortgage company yes <laughs> i understand how title insurance work and i want the last 40 years of employees of every title company yes and then i want to know all the liens against each and every property of the united states now there's what's known as tax lien purchases <laughs> i could buy the back taxes on any property for next to nothing yes <laughs> and as long as the county gets their tax money i actually own the residence oh <laughs> it's one of those investments a lot of people don't think about <laughs> But when the county doesn't enforce the penalty of perjury, who's to say that the lien on any residence is actually truthful? <laughs> I mean, I've seen a lot of seniors that decide to really teach somebody a lesson that they're in control. <laughs> or they decide to walk in and put a lien on a residence that they have no legal right to put the lien on. Yes! So when you go through the employees of every title company that can legally put a lien on a residence, how many of them under the penalty of perjury have to say it's true and correct that they have some sort of ownership interest in a property? <laughs> now these courts that just issue the orders right now, mm -hmm. I'm going to want to know the foreclosures, yes, the auctions, yes, <laughs> and then those that got sold, oh, within a year where all of a sudden they took this law because they purchased an auctioned property. <laughs> Something similar to myself because I know what happened to me. <laughs> happened to somebody else and when I go looking for billions of dollars of loss right now! I just wanted to know the employees of every title company where you could grease the wheel! You could put a lien on a property with no legal interest. <laughs> and then you could say, well, you won't get out from underneath this debt unless you pay me. Pooch. Now, I had talked to a guy, must have been three or four years ago, where he said he actually put a lien on, but I thought it was a payroll lien, as in, <laughs> I'm on the payroll and you will pay me or you will not be able to sell your property. <laughs> This payroll that's top secret where you grease the wheel, pooch him, where you bribe judges to issue court orders right now, <laughs> where you I pay the sheriff and the police departments to not enforce the law. <laughs> this top secret payroll! <laughs>